Hi, I'm Felicity. Let's have a get well, stay well moment on vitamin A. Vitamin A is a powerful antioxidant. It's fat soluble like vitamin D, which means we should always take it with an oily food like avocado or maybe olives. Vitamin D is vital as studies show it supports our vision, our skin, our cell and bone tissue growth and our immune function. Vitamin A is found in animal protein from liver, eggs, and raw organic milk from grass-fed cows. Vitamin A is also found in its vegetable form in sweet red peppers, broccoli, spinach, kale, carrots, and fruits such as cantaloupe, melon, pink grapefruit, mangoes, dried apricots. A baked sweet potato in its skin provides the healthiest source of vitamin A. What a healthy, filling supper to have. Broccoli seems to be good for everything, doesn't it? If you don't like eating it on its own, just juice it in with your vegetables and you'll get all the goodness of the raw broccoli without wrinkling your nose. If you get used to the raw foods, however, you will find that young broccoli florets are delicious in a salad with an avocado and lemon juice dressing. Deficiencies of vitamin A affect most of us, particularly the elderly and chronically ill. One of the first signs of vitamin A deficiency is night blindness, as well as scaly skin, brittle hair and nails, poor growth, anemia, and poor immunity. A good way to take vitamin A is a plant-derived multivitamin form, which you can drink. The alternative is an emulsified beta-carotene form. This is easily taken when added to your daily vegetable juices. Remember, Dr. Linus Pauling won the Nobel Prize for discovering that vitamins can only be assimilated into the body when we're already well mineralized. So make sure you're taking a plant-derived multi-mineral as the basis of your nutrition plan before you take your vitamins. We are what we eat, and rather, we're what we assimilate. So be sure to absorb your vitamins to get well and stay well. Lots more information on my website, felicitycorbinwheeler.org.